that life-saving 10 instead of having to wait seven hours for someone to fix their 95% plague. <laughs> Inhaling coffee is in the news. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I needed to get a new office chair. I need to move where these monitors are mounted to. I'm all contorted. I don't have this desk set up for streaming. I have it set up for working. <laughs> get, get myself adjusted a little bit. There we go. Is your son the act still alive? I believe so. I think you just have like, yeah, you got better. You had the plague for a bit, but you got better. You got better. You don't have to worry about the plague no more. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's finish this wall real quick so it's done. That way we're done with the stuff we were doing yesterday and it's not on our list anymore. We have the lifter now, the lifter right here, Game Chester Lift. Game Chester Lift is going to carry stones for us and we're just gonna take you off that and you're gonna go make rocks. Oh yeah, we got the good song on though. All right, one sec, I'm turning the volume up on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Squats? Dang it. <laughs> I was so comfortable. How many squats is it? Oh, oh, is it like 10? 10 squats? To be fair, I, I ran a mile before the stream to <laughs> 10 at least. I ran a mile before the stream. To get warmed up. One, two, three, four, five. No, he's red. This holds a snap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The music's not too loud, is it? I just like it a lot, so I kind of turned it up a good bit. Leg day every day. <laughs> I remember the time you guys made me do 350 squats in the middle of a ray. I wasn't quick enough at the squats. Oh gosh, Gradonia. Well, Pokebag's real name is Destiny, who was someone in the stream yesterday. So, so far, we are one, two days into streaming, and one of you guys in chat is currently being murderized. So, uh, whenever that person comes here, just let them know that they died horribly. Oh, never mind. Gradonia got walloped. <laughs> he got walloped by. <laughs> See, wait kicking me in how bad is it he's got heat stroke too oh my gosh he's gonna get a gun go rescue him Just haul that gun out of there leave him with a weapon <laughs> oh man <laughs> We're having all the fun right away. Uh, I think Neo Warp is the one in charge of tending, so Neo Warp, if you would just feed him real quick, that might help with the mood a bit. Yeah, some raw milk. Push up. Okay, 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 okay. Is 1.5 version out? You can get it on Steam. Someone want, in chat wants to explain that one. I should just have like a thing in our Discord to explain it. I don't want to explain it 500 times. <laughs> Yeah, you can do it in the properties tab on Steam. All right. I've got my chair wrapped in a blanket. It's not as easy to get set up for push-ups. All right, push-ups. Five push-ups. There we go. My, my chair rolled back over here. You guys can't wait for me to set the camera back up. I know it, you're all sadistic. I know what you're gonna do. The moment I hook that camera up, I'm just gonna be working out. I won't even be playing anymore. 
Okay. Did he finish the 10? Oh, 37%. And... Oh, man. Okay. Right now, we're going to finish the wall. Uh, who was it? Who did I assign to the wall? Why don't you go do that for a bit? I just want it done. I want it done. Just haul all the rocks to where they need to be for now. Come on, you. Build my Wi-Fi. No! We all hate lag. Yeah, this stream is brought to you by me running a Starlink internet in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, there's no internet out where I live. I have to use a satellite. Ever since I started YouTube, I've never had proper internet. Not once, ever. Oh. You gonna snap again? That Goju's withdrawal hits hard, huh? Hits real hard. Maybe you'll think harder before you OD on. You're gonna go put more. No, you know you're not. You got. This is see. We this is what we call a problem. <laughs> we are the better worst service you can get in the middle. <laughs> Guidonia is deciding that the withdrawal is too much, and they're gonna go use more. So I don't forbid it. You may not. You're not doing that. Just let it. Let yourself withdraw. You're at 15 percent. You're getting there. Don't make me cut your legs off. I'll do it. The homeless man. Every time you give him money. <laughs> Fair enough. Everybody's just trying to heal from their wounds, but that is like a giant waste of time, so we're gonna three on it. It is not your main priority to get better. Your main priority is to go and get work done. Now go get work done. I don't care that you're having issues. Do it. Yeah, what's the best way to make them not jailbreak? Other than maiming them. That's right, because there isn't a way. You can always maim them. Force feed them, yeah. <laughs> you see, we just give them wake up prior to operations. Like, if we're going to take your one of your lungs out, we're just going to give you a bunch of wake up first, you know? We don't want you passing out on us. Never use switches. How, why would you use them? So, one battery's on this side of the switch, the other's on that side. If we go to the power real quick, you can see power runs uh, this away. So if I have this battery full and then we turn off power, which is what we've done here, and we have a Z event and it blows out all these batteries, this one will still have juice. And if we're in a situation where we're not generating enough power, we'll still have some secondary power supply set aside. Now this doesn't save you from like a solar flare or anything that just breaks electronic devices. But this right here, this setup right here, will at least save your fridge for a little bit. Templar night, high in, oh gosh. How is like 1.5 content? Do you think it'll be a must have like biotech or royalty? So this, what we're doing right now, this is free. You can have this right now. It's not cost you a penny. If you already got the game, you can have this. Oh, Kyle, absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I enjoy this game a lot. I enjoy teaching it to people. I don't, why? Oh, I put a plan there. Okay. Yeah, but I think Anomaly, if you want to have more challenge for reward, I think Anomaly would be really good. It really does seem to be set up to give you guys a lot more mid-end game content. The Anomaly stuff does not seem like anything you're going to mess with in the early game, and it also looks like if you want to play Anomaly as a tribal, you're just going to die. I'm pretty sure, because, like... How are you gonna, as a, as a tribal, how are you gonna defend yourself from the invisible night creature that steals your pawns away while they sleep? Would you even be more hilarious if you guys play Anomaly as tribals and you have Dove's bad hygiene, so one of your pawns has to get up to take a leak in the middle of the night and just gets disappeared by the Invisicrawler? We have a farming guide coming out soon that's gonna teach you guys the most efficient way to make chem fuel. 
because we're assuming you guys are going to be burning a lot of stuff <laughs> come next month's DLC. You know, I feel like you're going to be using a lot of fire. <laughs> so we have a really big guide on really highly efficient farming and making chem fuel coming out here soon. Actually, super duper soon, probably in the next few days, actually. The night cream. Yeah, go look at the Steam page for Anomaly. There's some wicked wild stuff on there. Oh, absolutely. Is 1.5 already out? This is the pre build so that, like, mod makers can get their mods patched for you guys before they roll it out to the public release where your Steam will automatically update your game, or depending on what mods you're running, I guess you could say auto tragically updates your game. <laughs> <laughs> You just come boot one day and everything's broken. It's 1.2 all over again. <laughs> no, but that's why they're giving them this month to patch everything up. So you guys don't get uh, all your hopes and dreams obliviated. <laughs> Ideology. Dude, we're making such good progress. We're actually getting it done finally. I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom out. We're just gonna let it sit here for a moment. Let him finish it. Wait, wait, no, I was gonna let you I was gonna watch you done. Why are you coming back to base? Go Juan, go back out. Neil Warp, where are you going? Uh, the, oh the yak. Just just milk the yak and leave the yak milk. What a waste of time. Oh, the lifter's getting... <laughs> okay. Jenga Towers of... Mo so, big thing, big thing is that the... So, animations in-game run on a whole new framework, so any mod that affects animations is... It's got nuked, for sure. I don't expect them to patch this month, because those modders, they do it for free. Um... The weapons framework, according to Aragon, didn't get changed at all as far as he's seen. So it could have, but as far as he's seen, it hasn't. Which means that your weapons mods are probably unaffected. So you've got that rolling for you. What's more is pawn rendering is multi-threaded now. So a lot of you guys with lower end systems that couldn't, that would start chugging late game. You probably won't chug anymore unless your map is just all filled. So as long as you can find a way to manage filth, you should probably be able to do some crazy stuff late game and not worry about your PC catching on fire. Yeah, hygiene adds a lot more reason to give pawns their own bedrooms, have their own bathrooms, stuff like that. I definitely, I like Dubs mod. Dubs mod, I can see that one updating pretty quickly. How are your needs? We might need to micro your needs a bit more. Oh, Floridian Draxer, thank you very much for taking the membership. I appreciate that a lot. It helps us a bunch. Loyal noob, that's uh, 10 squats, I think. I don't know, how many, how many bucks is that? I don't know what my own memberships cost. We have a bunch of new, uh, oh yeah, for you guys that do have memberships though, channel memberships. We got a bunch of new emotes made the other day. It's the emotes from the Discord server. I'm gonna be adding them to the channel here soon. So you guys will be able to use the Discord emotes in stream. One, two, three. I, I hope you guys like having the Discord emotes in stream once those are ready. Four, five. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, my knees are getting on fire. Nah, ten. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like, you guys get to torture me and make me work out, and it makes me healthier, and then it helps fund the future videos, right? Because this channel ain't just me. It's, like, five people. It's me, Bo, Aragon, Bren, Knight, all working hard. I mean, Ajax is helping out right now, too. There's a whole lot of people behind each video. It takes a lot of work. 1.5, oh my, okay. So 1.5, you can get it on the unstable branch right now. So you can definitely get it, yep.
Dude is getting paid to get fit. It's the best way to do it. <laughs> it's poor. Is it not crap though? On the carving is an image of Benedict Guidonia Yua Urbanheart sitting next to the chess table, planning his next action. A group of teachers are slumped defeat. This artwork relates to Guidonia playing games at a chess table. Aww. Well, who are the teachers? Is it Reaper that slumped in defeat? You wouldn't want to do it any other way. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, bad hygiene is not vanilla. I don't think hygiene will ever be vanilla. I don't think the devs will ever make that vanilla. Well, because the way that, uh, if you talk to game devs, they'll describe it as the fine line between realism and fun. And at what point does your game become so realistic it stops being fun for people, right? So, and I, I think for a lot of people, a lot of people like devs bad hygiene, but a lot of people also don't. And so I think they're just going to leave that as a mod because an option for people, you know, no, they're not going to really implement features like that, I don't think. <laughs> there is a mod for that already, Mark. Yeah, there's... If you get enough mods, if you get enough of the mods, your pawns can have to go to the bathroom, they'll get thirsty. Depending on what they eat, they'll get diabetes and die. Nutritional matter. You can make it as complicated as you want. I think that's what makes Rimworld such an amazing game. It's not just the game, but the community around it that makes it so awesome. Oh, with all the export bans here in the U.S. right now, if you're American, getting a PC is probably as cheap as it's going to be for the rest of your existence on this plane of Earth or space-time that we're on. Because all those manufacturers made a bunch of parts, and they're not allowed to sell them where they were expecting to sell them now. So they're dumping them off on you at whatever price you'll take them for. talking to you guys that want a new graphics card right now this is the time to buy one <laughs> this is the time you made a test world for dove bad hygiene yo oh yeah the plant growing from dubs is really good yeah right now mvmes is where it's at though too mvmes are so cheap right now you get a one terabyte mvme for like 80 bucks that's wicked good deal it's just i never thought i would see the day that i had to put a, a cooling system on my memory drive because <laughs> my 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 mvme needs a heat sink <laughs> i never thought that would be a thing so a CPU needs a heat sink, or your graphics card needs a heat sink. Now your memory needs a, everything needs a heat sink. You're, I'm just gonna put my whole computer in a tub of mineral oil, and that will keep it cool. <laughs> just submerge it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now drives are ridiculously cheap. All right, I'm speeding game up. I don't need to be at one speed. Aragon always tells me I should I play too fast, but you know I maybe maybe that's how I was meant to play. Man, you guys got the last of the last of the food in there, don't you? Piers, you're leaving us. It's okay. It's okay. We we have a solution to every problem. Every single one. A solution to be had. Let me let me make food of him. Hey Piers. <laughs> I don't know if you're in there, but we're we're gonna we're all gonna eat you now. <laughs> speed is good. You're fine with the speed.
Yeah, he's not gonna join us if his room's a total disaster. Ideology, where's the ritual spot? Throw in, uh... We'll put it in the middle of the corpse pile. This is the, the fresh corpses box. He will now be in all hearts. <laughs> All right, we're gonna build a second corn zone right here. Actually, let me let me do this a bit differently. Make it 11 by 11 for corn. Ah, we gotta move it over, don't I? Yep. So there's a thing you can do. You make basically greenhouses in the winter. If you build these right. And I didn't really leave myself a lot of space for this. How big is this? Oh, I made it 11 across. Well, we'll just do this, son. We will just expand upon you. And that will be more of the corn. It's off by one. <laughs> Is fertilizer in this game? Nay. No fertilizer, I'm sorry. I mean, you can have whatever you want with mods, and if it's not a mod yet, you can go to the RimWorld Mod Market Discord and someone will probably make it real for 20 bucks. And they'll probably do it in a day because those guys are monsters. They do so well so quick. Come on, convert, convert. Have your nutrient paste, you. All right, I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna order some more trees chopped too. The only ones worth cutting, give the most wood. The wall's almost done, by the way. Actually, we're really getting close. You know, you go cut rocks for a minute for me. Ship to the saws. We are playing on a Strive to Survive, but I made some modifications like adding child raiders, so it's a bit different than just the base setting. Yo, finally! Oh, it took so long. Save him now. No, I'm joking. We'll recruit. <laughs> Destiny will join us. I wonder what a, a horse would do if it saw a zebra. Would it, would it think that something was wrong with the zebra, or would the zebra think something was wrong with the horse? Maybe the horse thinks someone painted the zebra. Horses get painted for movies. Horses know what pain is. Oh yeah, prisoner, prisoner is uh, a lot better now. So you can go here, you look at this as your prisoner tab. You can then come over here to change the default medicine settings for your whole colony, right? And then if you want to go over to the assignment tab, right, you have, you can manage the different apparels for each type of thing here. And it's a lot easier to manage that now. Food policy is also easier to manage. Drug policy is also easier to manage. You can choose frequencies. You can choose up of the mood and all that. I mean, it's all stuff you could do before, but it's just a lot easier to go through all this stuff now. And you can manage what books you want different colonists reading. So your researcher, you'd only want them to read schematics. Your normal pawns, you just have them read like skill books and stuff like that. Yeah, it's way better, way, way better. And we're probably going to make some videos on how to run an efficient library in a colony. Just because once you have enough books, like some books teach two skills at a time. Because like, all right, we'll get, we're going to get a book today for sure. Uh, I, I kind of want to send out a colony, a colonist to go trade for book. I mean, let's go take a look. How? What are you upset about? What What is your major... We don't want him to get more negative mood buffs, so we will just go consume that pack and survival meal. 
<laughs> Why is negative nine for this room? <laughs> there you go. There you go. What else can we do to help with your recreation? That psychite, it, the psychoid plant's coming along. Saves mats on early crafting supplies. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah, it'd be really good. So some books will provide two skills at once. Like, so a book will tell you how many levels you can gain from reading the book, and then it will tell you how much XP the pawn gains per hour. And some books teach two different skills. Like I had one the other day in my own run where we were getting 125 crafting and 125 medicine up to level 8 on both. And I just had the pawn reading it, and he gained two levels in each skill in one day without having to beat the crap out of some wild animal because really we've the way we've been skill grinding so far since like the dawn of this game has been pretty medieval right like you want to train your your doctor right you don't go read a book about doctoring you go capture some poor sap and start chopping them up in your back room right it's or you go punch out an animal <laughs> <laughs> and start experimenting on there's stuff like that or you just sat around and tried to make a shirt 500 times so having books really gives a different layer to training a skill for a pawn in rimworld right you don't have to farm 8,000 cotton to train a guy up to level 10 crafting so just so he has enough cotton to fill at 800 dusters right so it's, i definitely think it's a welcome addition to the game a lot of people were saying it's it's just like a ripoff of the mod, but it's it's different in its own ways, and that's really the thing. Is like a lot of people say, well, when they release the updates, it's just including mods. I mean, some of it, yeah, sure, but like, what's to complain about? The more mods that are base game, the more compatibility you're gonna have across your mod list, right? And then for this, some of the mods, they they go above and beyond what was originally a part of it. So I, just, there's really not much room to complain ever, you know. And then plus, you know, the, it'll always be maintained because it's base game. Right, so it's all ups. Can you avoid using kill boxes in room world, especially late game? You can, you can avoid doing anything you choose to do in this game. It's what you make of it and how you approach it. It all comes down to your strategy. I mean, some people can manage more mental thinking than other people. I told you no. This is bad. Drop the knife, you. I won't let you. You are so close. You're 28%. I won't let you. It's not allowed. Won't allow it. Beat him. <laughs> How bad is it? Food's all right. You lay there for a bit. No, no one's helping. You stay. You lay on that ground and think about your your. A hey, I. You trying to crawl towards more? I said stay. We'll punch you again. Hey, hey, hey. No, you don't help him. No, no, you leave him. You leave him to think about what he's done. No. No, no. You let him stay there. Think about what he's done. <laughs> Is it out? Yeah, you can go. Okay, put him in the bed. I'm done. <laughs> That's a lot. That's good medicine for being punched in the face. Cut that out. He's. Donia doesn't need that level of help for a punch in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put a band, like, put some spit on it. It'll be better. All right, now now we'll change it back to. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't rip his legs over. No, we'll just keep punching him in the face. The thing is, with with the addiction being so bad. You can see, uh, I can't hover down to it, but manipulation is down 10%. The consciousness is down 20, right? So much stuff's not doing so good, right? And so it's just not going to take much of a fight 
to, to make him fall down. We have a beautiful aura, though. Maybe, maybe we can make you feel better with that. Oh, no, not strip. Here, we'll take you outside. I'm going to lay you outside. You can look at the aura and feel good. All right, come with me. Yep, come here, come here. Now, you lay on the ground right there. Look at that. Look at that, beautiful aura, plus 14 mood. See, the view is amazing, ain't it? Don't you lay out by that rock and feel better. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, we're going to go and just go and break rocks. We're going to let you lay there looking at the aura because it's fixing your mood a little bit. <laughs> you should crawl back inside. You like the aura. He's uh, 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 crawling over all the furniture. He didn't like it. <laughs> My character must have license for that knife. <laughs> oh, man. Two squats. All right. Thank you for the donation a bunch. I really appreciate it, Reaper. That looks so cruel crawling. <laughs> I don't know why I'm enjoying this so much. One, two, two squats. <laughs> I actually really like the new crawling animation. I think it's going to make the Anomaly DLC truly horrifying. It does, right? So, like, instead of having to walk all the way across the map, they can kind of crawl and meet you in the middle. Or pawns that are just in an awful place down can at least get the heck out of the way, right? This, I, I, I love it. <laughs> so, many, so many pet peeves got fixed in 1.5. It's actually wild. Hey, yeah, it's true. Bionic limbs do make you stronger, but also like with Kenshi, if your your robo parts are crap quality, uh, you're gonna be regretting everything. Exactly. See, Reaper, you get it. You understand what it's probably for. <laughs> I, I I think it's funny how many of us are just so excited to watch all our colonies get totally violated by monsters. <laughs> the, the one thing I have to say, though, is based off that picture, the DLC, uh, tentacle monsters are now canon. We saw the tentacles in the picture. There is now tentacle monsters. It's base game. Yep. It's 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 vanilla tentacle monsters. You get dragged into the abyss by the invisible creature, and then you let the f get don't deal with the tentacle monsters. <laughs> it lagged. Oh man. I will say, if the weather outside turns into a storm, I just lose all my internet. Here, let me check stream. We're sending 3,000 kilobits a second to YouTube, so it shouldn't be lagging. <laughs> Xfinity, my neighbors have Xfinity, and I called them and said, hey, can I get internet at my place? And they say, no, there's no more nodes on the receiver on your road. Well, okay, how much does it cost to add one? Well, we're gonna have to charge you a dollar a foot per, $12 a foot per cable. Okay, how many feet do we gotta run? Well, based on where we'd have to add the connection point, it would be a little over 10,000 feet. Let me do some math. I guess I'm not getting your internet. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay 120 grand to get internet because you won't run one cable from my neighbor's house to my place. Gee, my goodness, there's no way it costs that much. I don't, I don't know what it is with these companies. This is, you can't convince me that it's that that much money to run the wire. I would much rather give my neighbor 50 bucks a month to let me put a crazy powerful router in their house that sends a signal far enough for me to use it from next door. <laughs> that that just seems more more you that seems better. I will I'll tell the neighbors I'll pay for your internet if you let me 
install this router in your home so that I can also use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems like it's fixed though, so. Yeah, yeah, red pepper, exactly, that's what I'm getting at. Wall's almost done, people. Look at it. Look at it go. Look at that wall go. Look at that wall go. Do we have any more RimWorld? Ooh! I don't know why I got so excited. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> Neo, we have visitors. I don't even remember. I've been playing it since I was in high school and I graduated nine years ago. I'm 26 now, so. Oh man, I've been playing RimWorld since I think yeah, I remember early EA, so, oh man, long time, very long time. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Ooh. All right, let's check. You are a, with a Neanderthal Xenotype, so you can definitely tank impacts, right? <laughs> no capability for shooting, but a passion for melee, which is fitting for you. And you like crafting. Not much of a talker. Social. Barely heard of it. You don't know what talking is? Yo, Aiden Hunt. Salutations. Welcome to the stream. Glass the planet for Cthulhu. The Steam page said there's a new game ending. So, I'm just saying. Maybe you do glass the planet with your, your evil rituals. I mean, you have people chanting outside your colony. Why not join them? There's, a, there's so much... So much to consider that there, that's just going to be new. Alright, and then we have Poppy here. Poppy is an adult. Really good intellectual night owl psychopath. Oh, I had a burp real quick. Sorry about that. I kind of want both of them. You're 700 bucks. That's pretty good. Um, you're 500 bucks. That puts our bill at 1200. Give them all our components. Oh, we can do it. Let's go. You're quickly suppressing them. <laughs> we own you now. Yeah, behave yourself. <laughs> All right, let us add new quarters for the new colonists. Uh, why don't we do this? No, you know what? No, they're not allowed to walk straight into the house. They'll be outside. It's like a shed. Neo Warp, what are you upset about? Then go get food. We're throwing a party? Let's go. And can always arrest it. Yeah, that life of death, that's exactly the plan. That is exactly the plan. Converting them is always best. Unless you have a million robots to suppress them all, it's better to just have them join the colony. That or if you have explosive slave collars. I like to shock collars, mod. Let's you kind of skip a step of the process there. And this wall will be wood, so this will be our base's weak point. Let's go over to the work tab here, and we will have you both prioritize plant cutting and growing. That sounds pretty good. 
And one of them has level 11 researching. Who is it of you? One of you is really good at researching and will absolutely have to be converted soon. You want to be named after him? All right, all right, all right, all right. Here you go, here you go. There you go, Mark. Oh, someone else wants one? All right, Templar. There you go. Names have been handed out. Have we named all the animals yet? The yak is gone. Something happened to a yak. The yak got yacked. All right, I'm not even gonna worry about that. Uh, what I am gonna do though, since we have so many people here though, is... Which one are you? That one? All right, if you could. Could please go over there and deconstruct that for me and then the rest of you can make your way home real quick. Yeah, I didn't bother with the pen. Blip, 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 blip. The game went to one time speed. I thought the dude was already attacking. But they went. Well. This is oddly not that tough to handle. Okay. Yeah, hurry on over. I, I don't even want to wait for you. Come on. <laughs> you bring that rock back, you. <laughs> you gonna aggro on our lifter? <laughs> Not within command range, huh? All right. Too used to having Alpha Max with early colony ending mechanoids. <laughs> Going out to clean up the mess. Yeah, gonna take care of our problems. Yeah. Kind of, uh... And you're an impid? You're gonna spit fire at me? Alright, that's worth, uh, duly noted. Let's, uh, not stand in the giant bundle of trees. Are you gonna come out of your bug pit? Your bug hole? That was uh, easy enough to handle. Back home, everybody. And then down here we have the Mega Spider to deal with, and we also have the Spilipede. And we have a lot of caskets to open. <laughs> I really want to open it. Well, we have so many people here. Oh, it could be so fun. Oh, I'm doing it. All right, you go, go open the ancient casket. You get in there and cover fire. You can do it! You can do it, young one! Run! Run! 
Forget about her. Run away. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't let any of them leave. <laughs> Pick up the gun. You can do it. Pick it up. Pick up. It's bio-coded. Is that bio-coded? It's not. Grab the Cheyenne shotgun. <laughs> okay, let's go. No hostiles. All right, run away. Run away. Back away. Back away. Back away. Come stab that thing. Help. 13 hours, wow. All right, why don't you go ahead and start tending to your injuries? Where'd you go? Got it, sweet. You tend to that one, you're tending to yourself. No immediate danger. Oh, you killed him. What kind of gear do we got here, though? I mean, I'll wear some tainted recon armor. What about you guys? I think it's worth it to wear tainted recon armor, don't you? <laughs> Am I like... Oh, Piers, we ate you. Sorry. Uh, you were at dinner earlier. It happened. Things happened. You were, you, we ate you. All right, is anyone out here still alive? Go punch out that thing real quick. There we go. Part of the feast, part of the colony. <laughs> Black vests and thread. It's all tainted. We'll get a lot of steel from these. It's like a hundred something steel per cryo casket, so we'll definitely open them up. I put one of the people in there, they're pretty hurt. You got five hours left, not good. You got fifteen. Definitely kill that. <laughs> oh crap, it left. Did we just get a pet? Pet crab? Whatever. 23 hours. Sounds like it's time for you to head home. Dead, dead, dead. Man, you are not able to tend yourself. All right, if you will. <laughs> it's just the mega scarabs out there just mess around. <laughs> this game. <laughs> the ancient danger feels familiar. Put Jake back in his cryo casket for now.
Is Nubert ripped yet? Not quite yet. I'm sure one day I'll be the ripped. Oh man. Do you not have any, any weapons? Oh wow. So uh, just strip the dead people real quick. There we go. Laying in a pile of corpses for the evening. Is the LMG biocoded? It is not biocoded at current time. All right, kid, you're not dying. So uh, it's up to you to figure out where you're going next. I guess we can give them their their spots. I mean, there's no actual building here yet, but you know. You wanna pick up your friend there, bring him home. Oh, hello orbs, how's it going? So boss have the pawn on the new multi-thread doing a good job? I think so. All the trees got cut, but the building wasn't built yet. That's something to consider. Missing some wood still? Okay. We'll just schedule up to cut all the trees within the base then. We need to clear this space out anyways. How are you on needs? What are you doing? Are you just going to build slate wall? Okay. Works for me. Why are you permanently crawling? You're not crawling, Mark. You got legs. <laughs> More just be using us as an excuse to play RimWorld today. I might be. I may well be. Also, when I get this many people watching a stream, I feel like a, a cool YouTuber, so it makes me want to do it more. It makes me feel like I get to be the cool guy for a bit when we have this big of a stream going. I know, it sounds silly. It's true, though. <laughs> you put it this way, if you realize you get 200 people to watch you streaming, would you want to stream a little more? I mean, I think you would say yes. Makes me want to stream more. I go, heck yeah. Exactly. And this is my 1.5 run too that I do at the start of every, you know, update. So I know I have a problem usually not finishing runs because I get burned out and stuff. We're going to finish this one for sure because I always do. I've never not finished it. So it does take me a while to get through it all though. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, it's arc, so you understand it. Yeah, see? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I get like a big, huge dopamine rush. Feel awesome. Feels awesome to know that you guys like this stuff so much. So definitely going to be doing more of it. I know Ajax was telling me I should limit my streaming to three times a week so I don't burn out. I think my longest stream streak was uh, 10 days in a row. We streamed every day. All right, we got some hauling to do. The, the lifter's going to get all that, though. So I guess I don't need to worry about it. I do want to throw a door on here, though. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's throw a steel door on there. That way this can be a room. And we can send you to go do that. That will be pretty good. What's up? 
Your blood loss extreme is still there, but it's going down. You're not bleeding anymore. Yeah, it does probably hurt a lot. Uh, we can... Let's go to the health tab here. We don't want you to be feeling awful, so I think... It's not in our thing. I was going to give you the, the bug goof. I guess we'll save that for somebody who's a threat, so... Hey, what's up? Just passing, passing through. You just got an 11-year-old passing across this deserted wasteland all along. Look how far we are away from anything. Like, that, this distance, if we were to send a caravan, is half a day away. So you imagine this person's like six hours height from home. Someone's kid is missing. Yo, set arc. My limit that I found is I usually do about three hours and then I get tired. Uh, we'll see as that changes, because the more exercising I do, I realize the more I can be be high energy throughout the day, you know? So, I guess the the more reps you guys make me do and the healthier I get, and I still go to the gym too. So, like, if you guys don't make me do reps, I'm still going to be doing reps in my own time, right? So, but the more physically fit I am, it seems like the, the higher performance I can be as a person. Who knew fitness was important? You gotta have it. Yo, red pepper, exactly, blood pumping. I mean, if that's all there is to it, I'm sure there's some substances that could help with that. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna stream, you're gonna make Let's Plays, if you're gonna be a YouTuber, fitness is really important because you're entertaining people and no one wants a tired entertainer. Oh, something that does blood pumping. Petro, something that does blood pumping. I need to adjust my seat. It's got me sitting in a weird way. It's making my back hurt. Hard substance. <laughs> I could only assume. Coffee. Caffeine will do it. Caffeine restricts arteries. And uh, makes your blood plump more. I mean, if you... Nicotine probably does too. A note from the wiki. What, what note, Petro? I sent someone to do this door, and they did one... One quarter of it. He's gonna finish it. He's just like, I can't believe we fought those people and they didn't finish the tat. And you didn't finish it either. I was just giving you good, good comp. I was saying you did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These bodies are. Oh, my. of course you are. Of course you're down here to get the insect jelly. We won't let you have the go juice. You got your butt wallet last time. We took the go juice out of here. You just want the bug jelly. Of course. Whatever to alter your mind, isn't it? Yeah. And it's at 17%. Did he find some? Did he get his hands on some? One sec. One second. None. None. No. For, no. None. Yeah, it's called coffee. That's what that's what IRL wake up is. It's coffee. Boo boo. Oh yeah, schedule. <laughs> I ran out of juice. <laughs> I never built any. I never even researched basic mech tech because we haven't finished the geo plant yet. So the thing just ran out of power and passed out on the ground. <laughs> Get up there. Go do that for me real quick. Yeah, I cut down four trees before breakfast and no sooner. You can eat after this forest is gone. It'd be fine. 
If you were a Rimworld character, what traits would I have? Uh, probably Sanguine and Iron World. No, actually Ascetic, assuming, considering all the li actual real life living conditions I've been in. So for example, we got, I got so poor the last year, so not this January, but last January, I ate rice for a month. I think that month I only earned like $700. YouTube was doing really bad. And I'd gone full time and I couldn't find any extra work gigs to do. And that, that month my rent was like 645 bucks. So I had like 60 bucks to try to eat or pay the car insurance. So I missed my insurance that month and ate rice. <laughs> It's night and day these days, though. Man, heck. Whoa. Huh. Oh. Life's way better these days, though. I uh, take care of my grandparents, or I guess they kind of take care of me, too, but I, I live with them, and I'm building a garden in their yard, and me and Kirby are here, and they got a dog, and Kirby loves playing with their dog, and I'm with family instead of strangers. Sometimes being out on your own ain't where it at, you know? What's up, Efrat? How's it going? Look at that wall, by the way. It's finally actually getting done. Trainman Fry, I'm gonna be straight up with you. SCPs are gonna get added to the game probably a month after the DLC drops just because the frameworks for the systems of them will be there. Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna have a bunch of SCP mods. It's gonna happen. There already are SCP mods, but they're not super functional. They'll be able to be functional with the new uh, game systems, so. That's the thing, like, people always... I, I guess I shouldn't say always. That's that's a pretty, pretty big word to say always. A lot of times, people will bash the DLCs for the game, saying it doesn't add much. But the devs really do focus on giving modders the tools, first and foremost, to add lots of features. And then with the extra time, they will add stuff that uses those features to give content to the game. But for the most time, for the most part, it's adding really big frameworks to the game that the community can build on. Because that's what Rimworld's been since the beginning. Rimworld didn't have a lot of content at the start, but there was already a bazillion mods, right? So it's been that way forever, for like a decade. And it, it seems to work out pretty good, so. One of you is going to be the new. Yeah, I guess it's you. You are now the one. The one uh, tingler, your new job is rock splitting. Go split rocks. I think everybody's doing all right health wise at the moment. So, once the wall's built, we're gonna finish. We gotta finish up this stuff too, but. Once wall is built, we have to make plate armor for everybody and helmets for people that don't have it. Of course I want prosperity. You want me to stop the fire? Eh. Where's it gonna go? It ain't coming in here. I got all I need within these walls. The ashes of the old is, uh, is the fuel of the new. Plus there's fire down here. What do you want me to do about it? If any animals get caught in it, I'll just unforbid them and carry them in. I this is an absolute win. Also, if enough of the world tiles are on have burned or on fire, it'll just start raining automatically, so. I'm not concerned about it. See, that's why we have the stone wall. And then this is wood, but this mud. Fire can jump across four tiles, so it would be worthwhile in the future to clear cut this whole area make sure fire can't spread over the walls because it could if it got right up against the wall it could jump the stone wall that's why i like the dirt paths mod because i can just dirt path and have a no value floor that just covers the space well we don't have mod right now so it is what it is
and then who is our researcher? That is now your only priority, Reaper. Hop two. You're so close. Oh, hey, that room is dirty. Clean it. All right, now I research a bit faster. Any amount of fill slows it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, floor tab, you wanna see the floors? Got new floors, looks like. That's pretty neat, all right, cool, all right. Wait, is it, was there dirt there? I'm so blind, someone said there's a dirt here. No, no there isn't any, okay, yeah. No, no, dirt was never vanilla. Six resistance, we're getting there, slowly. Time to you get one, you already did three. I'm just chilling. This is a pretty relaxed stream. I'm sure plenty of people are just listening to me ramble. We got two more people over here to get. We got to recruit our slaves, but I'm going to finish recruiting you first. No one is prioritizing Warden, though, except for one. And they're not the best at it, so everything takes time. I mean, like, we could do this. You could do... Oh, I guess it's, uh... I should have used convert on you when we were converting you. Well, we'll go convert our... Yeah, we'll do that. That'll take some time. You gotta jump an enemy colony. It's making its way over here. You got the deserter here. Uh, I don't really want to deal with fighting the Empire. That is always a ginormous pain in the butt. So just leave that be. I like being able to trade with the Empire. It's pretty good, pretty good deals. And also I'm pretty sure that would lock us out of getting really good books and stuff. I think maybe. Oh, that's just gonna light on fire right away. Great, more fuel. Blood for the blood gods. <laughs> We're almost done mining all this steel out. Yeah, it gets suppressed. Speaking of that, ideology, uh, we'll build one of those in your guys' bedroom. Of course, you're the one to build it. We're doing it. Oh, yeah, the wall got finished. Did I lock anyone outside? I really considered that. Huh. Oh. <laughs> the prisoner's mood. Genetically, chemically dependent. Kind of makes it rough, honestly. We're growing it. We're growing it. It's over here. You don't. You don't need to worry. It's almost done. We're gonna have it soon.
Whoops. There we go. <laughs> We're slowly getting there. Give us some time. We'll get basic max tech after we have the uh, generator. Oh my gosh, the death smog in this room. Maybe that's where we'll lock up the bad people. <laughs> All right, Neo, Neo. Where are you at, Neo? It's okay, you don't, you don't need to do art anymore. You can tailor. Oh yeah, production. Oh, we don't have the smithy yet, do we? Just an electric smelter. All right, so we got to do smithing. All right, we have a lot of things to research. That's all right, though. Speaking of things, let's, uh, I don't have to pause for this, but. That's gonna take up that much space, so we'll build it here. We'll make this deeper as time goes on, but we'll do the first two rows for now. And we'll just leave that hollow. like that. Awesome flash storm. Burn more of the map. No, hey, 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 Look at it glow, it's so pretty. All right, all right. We'll put out this one. Can't have all the trees burning. Newbert, if you don't want to deal with fire jumping over your wall, yeah, 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 I know, building the... Yeah. If I put it out like this, so it will kind of just redirect the way it's burning for a bit. Eh, this is not worth the effort to save these trees. When you're right, you're right. They're just gonna keep running back and forth if we don't cut all this. Oh, we're on the good song. Fire! Hey. This isn't Sam Will Streamer's channel. I'm not gonna burn my whole base down. I've watched his streams. I've seen the videos. Everything always catches on fire. <laughs> it always catches on fire. It does. Am I wrong? We're going to make a pull. I'm going to make a pull. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a pulp. Let me put it in a boat. I bet you I know what the answer is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, cast your vote. You watch Samuel Streamer? You cast your vote. You think he sets his base on fire most of the time or no? What's got you so upset? Well, then go take a nap. There, now you're done. You're done with it now, see? It's all over. It's over. Willow main. It's not a Sam series about the stockpile going up in flames. Oh, sack of treasure expired. All right, I'm ending the poll. Let's let's see what you guys voted. <laughs> yeah, he does. See, there we go. Well, I do a don't starve stream. We're considering at the moment doing don't starve together guides. And we're just trying to gauge uh, what the interest in, is in the game before committing resources to it. Because we're only a few dudes and we make less than one person's salary combined. So, <laughs> we're just trying to make sure, you know, we don't, over, we don't stretch ourselves too thin if our time's better spent just sticking to the world. Sometimes even on purpose. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of updates, but it's always skins, you know? My favorite McDonald's? My body can't deal with any kind of fast food since I started eating like lots of vegetables and stuff all the time. If it's if it ain't good for me, my body will let me know or so quickly. And I'll start having problems like my intestines will hurt. If I ate McDonald's, I would be in physical pain for hours at some point that day later. I don't know if it's like the grease or how much fat is it. I have no clue. But I would rather have like a salad. <laughs> have it have tomatoes salad too much sodium possibly sriracha mayo sauce <laughs> if you ever want to make your own burger sauce you can mix a little bit of ketchup and mustard together with mayonnaise and add a teensy few drops of soy sauce to it and then rub that on your burger patties or your burger buns Joke and not, and don't use normal mustard. Use like gray poupon or a brown mustard. Very good sauce. <laughs> Cookie with your part. Hey, no one said eating healthy had to taste bad. Okay, it can be absolutely delicious. In fact, it can be way too delicious. <laughs> I'll tell you the other part, though. It can be cost way too much money to eat good, healthy, good-for-you food. That's why I'm doing the garden. The store wants me to pay six dollars for a, a head of lettuce. Lettuce. You love Beyond. Honestly, I think the imitation meat tastes like carrots. It does, though, doesn't it? I think it does. Let's go get her done. So we got that figured out. Structure.
I guess it does need to be a door, doesn't it? <laughs> they're not exactly healthy, and they're usually cooked with meat grease anyways to give them flavor. They're rolled in fats or whatever it, whatever it takes to give it a, a flavor. Alrighty. We finished the Geo Power. Now we can do basic mech tech, which is 200. That'll be done quick. Then we'll do smithing. Let's roll our way on over to power real quick and smack down. Hey, hey, whoop, whoop. I accidentally deleted rocks. Militor, Militor, Militor. Power. Then we can go to zones again, and then we can go to dumping stockpile, and then we have to remake the rock zone, the zone of rocks. Rocks! <laughs> Where are you at, Stone? Getting all these phone calls. Stone chunks. There we go. I forgot a cable, it's not connected. <gasps> You're right. Here we go. You like my rocks? Thanks, Sinclair, I like my rocks too. I got some smooth rocks over here. Such good stuff. <laughs> and honestly, while we're at it, I might as well do this too. But we're going to make plans for a thing here, all right? So there'll be a door right here. So door, hallway, double doors, right? Wall. Then we'll throw in door right here. And within, we will have and the doors, doors right here, right? So it'll come in, and then it will have an option here, right? There'll be a door here, or a hallway on the right. And this will just open and come this way. And we'll just have, oh, that's not far enough. Oops, it's not far enough. Oh, it still wasn't far enough, huh? So I we'll have two smaller cells, one decent looking cell, and then another small cell. This hallway will come up here, and we'll have a space right here that is but two simple cells. Then this space back here will be a laboratory with brain suckers. And the way this works is because there's double doors right here when they break out through here. Instead, they'll just try to break out into the kill box and they'll just have the biggest line of spike traps in their way, right? But we can also do this too right here. We can add in an extra set of protections and just have more walls right here and we can do the door right here will open and it'll just have one sec you gotta make it wider sandbags on both sides and there's turrets that we can enable really quickly so if they do come this way they'll get blasted yeah this is the efficient 
kill box room, right? And then I guess we could have it so that they could come out this way and they could pass through here. This is getting complicated. We'll just get that built first. Let's let me not plan too much right now, but this could be a, a mine or like the, the textile factory. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing also about having the cells connected to the kill box like this is you can quickly move the not dead into lockup. And then usually I will leave a space here. I didn't make it big enough this time. Maybe I'll have to have one less cell in here, but a shelf with basic medicine in it so we can tend people we bring in. It's worth it. You'll see. You'll see. It's it's a pretty pretty good idea. It works pretty good. The child became a pessimist right after they were born. <laughs> Pessimistic baby child. They are ready. I mean, that's fair. If they are very convenient for the colony, there's not much room to complain about them. It's what you needed, so. <laughs> How do you know I'm not good at it? I think I'm really good at it. I think I'm super good at it. Alrighty, smithing is next. go carry him off yep there we go then we can go to production by attack let's see Totally block that off. We'll have to build a room for this later. They are super OP if you take proper care of them. You set up learning, good learning environments, and you just have them set. The best way to get a child to learn in RimWorld is you just set all of their time to recreation. Because they'll follow people around. Kid just walked into. <laughs> Wait, I have insects. What about the drop pod incident? Why did you send a child, me, into a desert? <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten about my crimes against you, P Petro. Oh wait, I thought it was Piers here I was tormenting. Oh, Petro, you'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure we can come to an agreement on where your drop pod will land. As long as it's a sandy hot place, right? I'm sure. There's no way I would do anything wrong to any of my viewers turned colonists. Ever. No way. I love you guys too much. I wouldn't I would never go and you know, I don't know, go go to any of you guys and and, and do do horrible. Uh uh get gift. Draw to Mark. 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 
<laughs> wait, wait a minute. Look at Templar's head, it's square. It's square. Look at it, you guys see that? It's square. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, I'm nice to people. Look at that. He's going to work a little faster. He could be a little less tired. Look at, oh, oh, my goodness. Bros from V there. <laughs> this Templar here in chat, should he be renamed Minecraft? Neo Warp is botching stuff again. All right, we, I, I need to actually do this. I keep neglecting this very important task of wood cutting. I'm not wasting time on poplar trees. They don't give me any wood. Take, I'd rather they just all get burned and then these other trees grow. No, not right there. It's against the design of this building, this base of mine. Desire pass right there. How big should a workshop be? It depends on how much pawns you're gonna have. The more pawns you have, ugh, pawn. Um, drooling a little bit. Excuse me. Um, what, um, tend without medicine. What do you? What do you got going on? Oh! Oh, such a handsome-looking pawn. Oh, Mark. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, wee. Why don't you come home with me? We'll just uh, give you a new spot over here. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> This 10 mark real quick and take him home with us. <laughs> Look at the pawn skills. 12 melee, 11 shooting, 14 mining, good crafting, psychically deaf, and a night owl. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah we're taking this pawn home with us we're gonna capture mark mark's ours now mark mark is belong to us <laughs> there we go there you go mark we brought you home you're gonna be best friends mark will you be the best friends mark you like it here you, you like it here a lot how bad is your wound? So you got a gunshot. We'll we'll let you have normal medicine, Mark. We we wouldn't want it to scar. Say hello to your new friend, Destiny. By the way, we'll never do queening. Well, you can go queen. Also, one of them, I'm going. Other Mark, your new job is to no 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 uh not other Mark. Oh, I guess. Thing. We need a dedicated cleaner. I want to floor the base. Keep hitting the windows key. It's okay. Finally caught up to the chat and real. Ben Surreal listening to a half an hour of game at two times speed. <laughs> is it play too fast or is it kind of slow? Should I talk faster so when you do on two pipes easy, it's like really fast and going to <laughs> Like how it is in my videos where I delete every instance of my breathing from the from the mic. <laughs> so you so you guys just get all the information at mock speed. I do really like Mark. Look at Mark's skills. Mark Mark first of all is a husser. Right? Absolutely unstoppable. Actually, Mark is a very dangerous individual. 
I don't think Mark should share a room with anybody. I th okay, we need to build a new cell for Mark that is safer. All right, we need to build a containment room for Mark. All right, one moment, please. I'm going to build it over here because all the resources I'm going to build it with are right here. I guys think this is overkill, but I think it's just enough. <laughs> we'll make the bed out of metal, too. No, we don't want him to be able to face the door. We're gonna have Mark's bed and his we'll have his table face the wall that way his back is turned to us every time we enter the room we gotta take away that sense of security but we will put a plant pot in there push-ups i use telecom i used to do, if you want to talk about it in discord just let me know clockwork or boris i think that would be an extremely entertaining conversation to have at like two in the morning sometime <laughs> Well, I'm really tired, and I want to talk about stuff really complicated. All right, I do have to do five push-ups, so let's get this built first and foremost. Yep, we'll do that. Oh, you know what else I got to do, though? Wait, no, no, no. Five push-ups, Newbert. Come on, now. You know what, guys? Just for you, I'm going to lower the microphone down to the floor so you can come down here with me and be, be on the ground. Yeah. One, two, three, four, four. All right, uh, let's bring the microphone all the way back up. I'm using it to like hold my monitor straight, so it's kind of it's kind of wacky, but it works. What? For the nose spray fun. I don't know what currency is that. Is that 50 push-ups? That's knock. What is knock? What actually is knock? What is knock? I've never heard of this. Must Google. What? What currency is knock? Norwegian crones? Yo! That's dope. All right. Backstory. My, I'm... In my DNA, I'm Norwegian. I must, I'm like a Viking deep down. All right, sweet. It's only five push ups. I can do this. I'm not going to break today. I can do it. You guys aren't going to break me. You guys aren't breaking me. I can do it. You ain't going to make me rep too much. I do have to pause the game now. I can do it. The Norway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five more push-ups. I got it. I, okay, I'll bring you down here to, to I'll just tilt the mic. That's easier. Focus, Newbert. Yeah, it's being tapped. One, two, three. Oh, I'm already getting tired. Four. Five. Oh. Dude, push-ups so hard. <laughs> Such an amazing new game. All right, back up here a bit. Who's assigned construction? That would be you. Please come build this. Oh, I didn't fix the mic, sorry. Here you guys go. Bring you back up here with me. Fix her, it didn't happen. <laughs> 
Hey, it's not my fault if you can't believe me doing my reps. <laughs> we have a camera, I'll set it up one of these days, but I get body shamed every time I face cam, so I don't like doing it. I'd rather just enjoy streaming instead of getting bullied when I'm trying to play video games. All right, be kind of funny if there was some dude fever animating and talking. Oh my gosh. Well, I could probably set up like a preset. Oh my gosh. The door to the base held open by stones. That's, the, that's our death waiting to happen right there. Don't, that madness. Throw hands. <laughs> no, it's all right, Fabes. It's all right, Fabes. Fable is an extremely good video game, by the way. I remember when Fable came out and me and my brother borrowed it from our cousins and we'd hide in the basement and play it when our parents weren't looking because we couldn't play M-rated games. That was the thing growing up, playing the M-rated games, trying to sneak the R-rated movies, just you know, doing the stuff you're not supposed to do. Uh, it made it more exciting. And then when I was older, I didn't care as much. <laughs> I know you're still alive. We we kind of walloped you a few times though. You're kind of getting yourself into some trouble back there, but we sorted you out. Don't you worry. Got to finish mining out this mountain. The first Xbox 360 game was fabled for real. I have one of the remastered fables on Steam, and I really want to play it on my handheld, but I don't think my handheld can handle it. <laughs> Dude, games were so much better 10 years ago. Then suddenly we have this thing called shareholders, and companies don't want to try new things anymore. What happened? Also, this is looking pretty good. You can just go and do that after you do the door. There we go. First path is done. That's good enough for me. We are a secured base now. It's secure, it's a safe place. So we need to build this containment room real quick to hold our overpowered dude. You're gonna sound so old if you had any. You played Zoo Tycoon growing up? Dude, I found a key. So I found, I had bought a bunch of keys on Humble Bundle six years ago, and they included games like Zoo Tycoon and uh, what, what else? Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon and a few other games. Restaurant Empire. I just, I was just way too in the, those games. Mall Tycoon. I installed them all and I had a amazing trip down memory lane. <laughs> I don't know how many people in this chat are, uh, are, are in their early twenties though, that know the games I'm talking about. I don't know if we have a chat full of nine year olds or not. I hope we don't have a chat full of nine year olds. I hope the nine year olds aren't playing War Crime Simulator 2.0. I guess it wouldn't surprise me, but you guys aren't a bunch of nine-year-olds that torment people for fun, are you? Of course not. Don't answer that question. I don't want to hear the answer. Multi-con has hard vibes to it. <laughs> the new hostess, Pong, StarCraft. Dude, so honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of playing StarCraft. I really like Age of Empires and Stronghold. I will play Stronghold with anyone at any time, except for right now, because I'm streaming. But I've never had enough people to play Stronghold Crusader with. So that that's something. Same for Age of Empires, always down to play that with people. But um, let me think, other than those games. Oh, I'm having way too much fun talking about this now. I'm not even paying attention to the game anymore. 
Uh, StarCraft, I didn't like necessarily playing StarCraft, but I really like the ant version, you know, where you can play as the, like, the different kinds of ants and wage war with your buddies. Me and Aragon really like doing that. Yes, Age of Empires. Yes, my ELO is like 3,000 in Age of Empires. Well, no, it's like 2,700. I'm not going to round it up. I'm going to end up fighting someone that's way too tough if I say it's 3,000. My ELO is like 2,700 in AoE. The original Spyro. Dude, smithing is done. Let's go. Let's uh, hop that on over the machining. Actually, no. I want advanced lights. Hop on over to production. Where's machining at? Just throw down an electric smithy. There we go. And then when this is done and that is done, I think I will dig this out and we'll build the base a little bit further down so we have room for more lab stuff and everything like that. And I haven't really given any attention to uh, converting any pawns at the moment. Who are you? Uh, go convert Mark real quick. There you go. Clean that up for you. To this day, the main menu theme of Zoo Tycoon is burned in your head. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just a few games you shouldn't have played growing up. You turned out fine. Honestly, I think people that play RTS games have a higher base intelligence than most other people just because it takes a lot more mental capacity to find a joy in having this much thinking going on. It's for somehow you're you're getting a dopamine rush from your brain having to process a lot of stuff. Which people doing FPS games, they do have to process a crap ton, but it's different. If that makes sense, they're like it, it's it's like more of a carnal instinct processing in FPS games where you're like super fast reacting to things where in R FP like RTS games it's long term thinking and planning D divisive right if you can be really good at RTS games and FPS games you're becoming a god you are you're like becoming super monk super gamer usually you're good at one or the other <laughs> it's true though right I don't know many people that are super good at RTS games like this and playing games like Age of Empires, and then also just being really good at Fortnite, right? Who is the, how many of you guys know people that are just ridiculously good at any game? Any, actual any game? You occasionally go back to Pokemon Emerald. Dude, Pokemon games only had three saves. I have three brothers, so there's four of us. So I was always the one that never got to play the Pokemon games because you could only have three profiles and no one wanted their save deleted. I never got to play Pokemon growing up. So you guys bet your bottom dollar at some point in my YouTube career, I don't think I'll make videos. I don't think people want to watch me play Pokemon, but I have to play Pokemon just so I can understand what people are talking about. It's like having never played Minecraft. It's almost heresy. Wicked at Smash Bros. Yeah, dude, my older brother is always better than me at every game. One day I got my brother to play Stronghold with me, though, and he couldn't beat me. And then I got all my three brothers to verse me in Stronghold. I was solo against all three of them, and I just wiped the floor with them in that RTS game. That felt really good. But then again, we used to have, like, wrestling matches, and I'd get choked out by my siblings, too. So, like, you know, you, you win a bit in the game, you lose a bit IRL. <laughs> You go to the SCP secret lab. All right, so this prison is almost done. Can we please just finish it? And advanced light's done so we can get the floodlight out now too, which is really good. And we might as well throw down biofuel refining. We're just kind of getting the simpler stuff out of the way. I guess we don't really need biofuel refining. Well, no, we do, because we want chem fuel. Yeah. 
How are we doing on food at the moment? Oh yeah, we're building up food supplies. All right, I'm not too worried about them. So we'll do that, then we'll need sterile floors, and yeah, we're making we're making good progress on this stuff. <laughs> Don't know, I'm pretty good at Wormworld and TF2, but I'm not great at any game ev. I want to get those guys out of the cryo caskets, but I don't just want to sit here having to tend to four prisoners. I want to get all of our building and stuff done first. How you doing? Oh yeah, how you doing on that withdraw? Oh my gosh, you're almost done. We're getting there. We still got the mood from defeating the insect hive, though, so that's a good one. There we go. Everything's coming together, dudes. In fact, let me just uh, go to the planning real quick. Orders, planning again. So we're gonna bring it down to here. And then I guess we're gonna have to carve more of this out actually, but uh, the prisoners have their, I mean, the, the slaves have their kind of shed over here. <laughs> but uh, we'll build another room out this way. And this will be, I guess uh, we'll have it come out further than that. It'll be, because this wall is going to come down right here, so we'll have a big open space. Well, I guess we already have this right here, so I guess we'll do a double hall right here. And this will be, I say we'll probably do bedrooms, so that's one room. That's another room. Yeah. All right. That looks all right, doesn't it? See you later, Merrick. You have a good one. It might be a dark and depressing shack, but it's my shack. So much building to do. And we still haven't even built the smithing table. Well, for now, the you are set to craft. I think we're going to actually switch you over to mining. We'll put both of you just prioritize mining. Go dig. I have all the slaves dig. If you ever meet Nubert, never trust him with children. Is that so? I am I going to eat them? Am I going to drop pod them into a desert? <laughs> give them, give them scyther hands. What is? What were the the cyberpunk creatures that had? Yeah, mantis blades. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Dark Grim? Pokebog tried to convert Mark to his own iota. Mark has convinced changed his ideology. That's good, Mark. That's good, Mark. Good for you, Mark. But uh, we can probably take it a bit further. The only problem you ever had with Rimworld was the aiming system, but C goes too far for my vanilla <laughs> brain. <laughs> There's a mod called Draw a Bead that essentially fixes. Well, it's not really. It doesn't fix. It makes aiming a bit different. Where are you going, you? Come on.
come over here in Queen Rock. Also, we're going to set this for prisoners. We'll get rid of that. And then we will take you to your new jail cell. Where you are far less of a threat to anybody. And in fact, we'll go to production. And we'll run a white in here for him. There we go. <laughs> Wall lights 1.5, that's right. Yeah, that's true, it's true. Oh, no, wall lights is base game. We're not running any mods right now. No mods. My phone keeps buzzing. It's saying the security cam sees something, and then it's just Kirby wandering about outside. <laughs> He's just enjoying the weather right now. This base is really coming along, though. We're doing pretty good here. Someone will eventually give him light bulb. There you go, light. Hey, you have table now, look at that. You won't have to eat without table anymore. Speaking of stuff made of slate, let's uh, start building the, the new section of the base out of slate. We'll probably replace all the walls with slate here. Common sense and pick up and haul for me. Yeah, fair enough. Those are really good mods. To avoid going nuts. To keep your sanity. To not lose your mind. Will I be living in that shack forever? Probably not. I mean, the shack's going to get fixed eventually, right? Let's go to the bills here and change this to 200 of any stone block. What do we got going on? No one in our base really has any reason to be going outside, so we'll just make an area one. And area one can be this space indoors. And we'll just tell everyone and the mech to be indoors. We just have too much work to do within the walls to bother going out of the walls. Holy cow! Imagine if there was more than two of you. How's it going, Mark? Go have your nutrient paste, Mark. Slowly getting the dusters made. Wow. <laughs> I know, that guy went through so many traps. What, what would he have done if he got in here? Because eight traps that he went through, one, two, three, four, five, six, they all do 55 damage each. So he took over 300 damage. I mean, there's 30 though, right? A Hulk body, yeah. Fat body. <laughs> Overridden by Gene Hulk body? Well, he has both. Somehow he has an impossible combination of genes. Oh, we got the good song running right now. Oh, 
Cool, let's go. The psychoid leaves are done. So next we will do drug production then. So we can refine our psychite. Get that hold to where it should be. Oh yeah, did you guys know that when batteries are disconnected from the network, they still discharge? Now you do. Now you do, you never knew, now you know. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's all, oh, holy cow. Templar almost got his Minecraft head crushed by a not so Minecraft chunk. That was close. That was right next to him. <laughs> My, being a, a miner, a digger is pretty dangerous, huh? Is it one, two, three, four, five? He's not even outside the range for rift collapse. The new search feature, you hit the button Z on your keyboard and then you type in whatever you want. I'm actually gonna make this all uh, cotton as well so that we can carpet people's bedrooms. Yo, Alan, appreciate it. I love having you guys around here too. That search is going to be helpful finding the trainer's rooms. It really will be, especially if you're looking for like legendary or something like that. Yo, it's finally done. Let's go over to the bio here and we'll rename them Destiny because that's who was promised. Destiny. Oh yeah, I didn't build beds for half of our people. Am I a bad leader or what? Of course I'm not. Just build the beds. All right, we got to uh, replace that one. That's pretty crap. Yo, all right. Drug production next and carpet making after that. Get more chairs. <laughs> Why? What is going on outside? All my security cameras keep going off. One sec, I'll take a look at this. What's going on? Oh. My, my cousins are here. They're messing around outside. They have some fun. And laboratory. So, Carousel needs people to help translate a book. He's asking you to, to lend one colonist 13 years old or older to serve him for nine days. He will send a shuttle to pick up the colonists. I don't really care for any of these rewards, and I'm not giving you a a small child to a, a no <laughs> no the raiders are coming to my house let's go talk to the shaman merchant see if they have a book who's the best at talking no that's not what i meant to do it's control not right quick warps That's true, we could make booze for the pawns, let them all get drunk. Do you have any shaman books? No, but you do have these. <laughs> get rid of the goji so people stop messing with it. Give us these instead, that's way better. Huh. <laughs> 
Are cows worth it? It depends on the run you want to do, really. I mean, if you're min-maxing, then it's... Ah, min-maxing is so boring, though. Min-maxing isn't fun, but... Oh, I get. I know what you mean now. You're saying, are the cows worth it? Yeah, uh, the cows could be worth it. Uh, not right now, because I don't want to dedicate upon the dealing with animals, but... If you would like to come over here, sir... Hey, everybody, look. Look what they brought us, guys. That's what we call some stable moods. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you can keep the female cows alone for a while, then they're pretty good. They're also good for hauling. It is, yeah, that's right, it's a long term. So I will say chickens are good if your PC can handle it. One thing I did before was I would, every week I would go on a, a run to go sell like 40 chickens to the neighboring colony, and I would come back with like a thousand silver. And uh, one pawn can do that because they just eat grass and they don't need to eat as much. Yo, Badger, hello, how you doing? Pawns are now multi-threaded. Yes, they are, it's true. Yes, you, you, low NPCs should be able to handle uh, dense colonies, finally. It's okay, that smoke leaf will help you overcome that genetic debuff from the psychite dependency. Uh, speaking of things, why don't we go to grow more stuff? And we should build the smoke leaf farm over here. Yep. I love complaining about performance even though I'm running at four speed, it's fast. Oh, the dev speed. <laughs> suppressed is menacingly stand there yo golden block welcome to the stream and you're already getting on the meme train huh <laughs> picture and all dude they left us some gold hey gold block look we got gold <laughs> You have been desensitized to the four speed lag. <laughs> do do do. Oh. You're a night owl, Mark? Oh, we'll fix that for you. Mark, we will switch your... Hours of sleep to be for here. And we'll move your work. This is the wrong person. I'll fix it in a minute, okay? It'll be fixed momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonathan, hey, Niebuhr, huge fan of your stuff. I started watching your vids about a year ago when I was started RimWorld, so happy to catch you live. Happy you were able to make it. I, I think it's a really good opportunity to get to meet you guys and hear what you guys think about the videos and what you guys find most interesting. I think it's definitely a lot more fun to do things this way. there. You're still going to end up having this pawn work in the middle of the day. No! Oh. I messed it up.
There. There is your night owl schedule. <laughs> All right, there we go. <sighs> Destiny cannot walk. Toggle that for a moment. Let the room warm up a bit. So the psychite dependency was already causing so much consciousness issues that the smoke leaf just took her out, took Destiny out. <laughs> well, while we are actively busy converting Mark to the idea vision that we like. He already, he already is, oh my gosh, silly me. We're gonna send Ranger down here to open the cryo, actually no, our best doctor is Neo Warp, so we're gonna send Neo Warp to open this cryo sleep casket. It is looking nice now, yeah, uh, don't mind the blood everywhere. Jake, let's take a look at you. You're kind of slothful. You're a misogynist. You're a nudist. Alright, we'll just have... Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll, we'll find a purpose for you. Your coolers could heat if they're backwards. They blow out heat. They'll make the adjacent room super hot if you're not careful about it. Where's the mad alpaca? We have a wacky alpaca on the loose. You got 40% bleeding from getting bitten by the alpaca. You go ahead and haul that, and then we'll come back down to Neo Warp real quick. How do I play the experimental version with bookcases? Yeah, it's in the uh, unstable public testing, yeah. Why does Templar look like my know the square head? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so entertaining. Alright, Jake, we're capturing you. You belong you are belong to us now. All needs have been managed, and we will now convert you. And I'm going to send a very nice person to do just that to you. Convert. Feed. All right, that's that's it for that. Now, uh, if you will stop what you're doing and clean this horrible looking room, Steve. The colony grows. Oh yeah, and this room's done, sweet. you drafted. Oops. <laughs> and you will get better in time. You've never really made the cleaning assignment work out. No one seems to want to. Is that just... <laughs> Yo, Tam, life's going all right. Stream's going pretty good. We're all having a good day here. 
Uh, usually, if you want a cleaner, um, it would. Uh, it's tough. Uh, I would say you could have, if you're gonna have a dedicated cook, you could have them clean the base. Or if you have crafters, when they finish bills, they can go queen. But I find the best way to go about it is just have a queen sweep from biotech. Let's go and throw the bridges down right here. You're fine. Stop freaking out. <laughs> yeah, the Queen Sweep from Biotech. It's a uh, bot that you can craft at the Mech Gestator. Send the children to be queeners. I'd rather have the children set to be run recreation all the time. That way I get more choices when they age up. Because then you can just hand pick the best spawns in your colony, essentially. He's gonna go smash things in his room. I hate that door. Yeah, yeah, I hate that chair. Oh, I don't like that statue. Hate that shelf and punch that wall. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, meh, meh. I'm bad mood. Meh, meh. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hit something else, bud. I'm hyped for all of Anomaly. There is no specific part. I want all of it. My body is ready. You're still playing the original version of RimWorld and no expansions, so that was not on your radar. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the order to buy the DLCs would be Biotech, then Ideology, followed by Royalty. So ironically in the reverse order that they were released. <laughs> And when Anomaly comes out, if you like the horror stuff, it would be still reverse order. It seems like every new DLC has more content than the ones before it combined. And Anomaly is no exception to this. It is big. It seems like it's going to be bigger than every other DLC altogether. So. Yeah, I can understand not liking how specific it is. <laughs> I mean, if you saw the if you saw on the Steam page, Tynan literally said he just watched the movie Cabin in the Woods and went, "I'm doing this in my game," and then made the DLC. <laughs> Spent 16 months working on the DLC, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to just bypass having everything we need just because one thing worries them. We're out there getting a digging in. Hey, you you have the Minecraft head. How come you can't mine iron fast? You should be doing one of these blocks like every two seconds. You even have the art book at home? Oh beer time. We don't have beer at the moment. And the only one that's upset is Minecraft Steve who's tired. You're a night owl in daytime that has nobody restricting your schedule. Why are you even awake if it's a problem for you? You want me to replace your bed with a stone one? Does that make you feel better? Let's 
to go clean his cell. Somehow he's making trash, even though we don't give him anything. Oh, Fable, absolutely. Have a good one. You constantly fall into the trap of activating dev mode when you play RimWorld. <laughs> Something awful happened to my colony. I can't stand for it. I, I, I like going with commitment mode, but if I'm going to run mods, I do reload anytime because you just don't want to break your save because some mod failed somehow. do let's go to production biotech there we go hey Newbert, should I start using caves as rooms for my people to work sleep you know, it, it depends on how you want to do. Uh, caves are good because drop pods won't come crashing down in them, but that's probably about all you're getting out of that. It's a whole lot of work to make caves, and you have the risk of... Uh... Ooh. Gorman, though. Probably won't like the nutrient paste very much. But you, you probably won't like the insect wrist and stuff. Forty-three-year-old baseliner with an old gunshot. So we're gonna have minus five mood from the injury all the time, and we're a gourmand, so we're gonna have even worse mood from eating uh, nutrient paste all the time. Which tells me that you would serve better as slave. So that's what you will be. Did you commit war crimes and rolled? Uh, probably a lot in just this one stream. I can't imagine we've been the good guy very much today. We have been in pursuit of the goal. The goal of one. The one-some goal. Is that all polluted? Uh, we don't have any pollution yet. Oh, I guess we do. We have this. I guess I've been throwing pollution out here, haven't I? It's called rot here. <laughs> I can set it to critical, though. Bloop. Make sure all the junk is dumped. Junk dump. Be honest, have you ever seriously played with genies? They are kind of useless. I haven't messed with a lot of things other than the baseliners. Like, if they come into the colony, we have them around, but I'm not specifically, like, handcrafting colonists. That's not something I've done a whole lot of. I like the mechs part of biotech most. Why not? You can come sleep in the dog pile with us. Send them out to cut more trees. <laughs> this will work for us. This will work just fine. I have had a lot of genies that have, like, level 10 crafting or something, though, so if you need more people to just make really good legendary weapons and stuff, genies are definitely not bad to have. They're just not amazing combatants. The crafter boy. <laughs> so, yeah, see, there's purpose. Also, we have the corn on split harvest, so one is 
Yeah, you know, they're not too long between harvests. We will simply enslave you. And this will be ready in eight hours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? The bleeding must have been too much. Did we execute the prisoner? Did I do it? <laughs> well, if there was a person to accidentally execute, ahem, um, it's all right. Nothing to see here. Was there a juice dependency here? Let's look at the log. There's no extra information here. <laughs> I, I better not click that one again. I didn't even notice. Whoops. <laughs> Sounds like an execution. <laughs> Must have been. Go. Look at this colony go. It's like a it's like an ant farm. Oopies. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> oh oopsies. I didn't mean it. Kinda just happened. This is getting old. Did we finish the drug production? Yeah we did. Okay. Production. Oh, we gotta do psychic refining. All right, well, I'll switch to that. We'll get that psychic going. That's worth the extra effort. That's worth some focus. At least I think so. I think it's worth the extra focus, don't you? You know, offshore base with architect. <laughs> All right, we need to, until we have X where X is one, make sure we always have a sub core sitting around. Can you be Herman? I don't believe we're keeping these people, but you can be them for the time they are there. There. Ho 
hope nothing bad happens to you guys. <laughs> sure would be a shame. Train man, I gave you what you wanted. <laughs> Refugees are animals. Oh, I guess. <laughs> It'll be okay. Get all the wood done. Having these extra workers is real helpful right now. It really is helping us out, getting stuff done. No, I'm Steve Minecraft. Templar is Steve Minecraft. Yeah, and uh, if I if I remember correctly, uh, Adam versus everything just uh, wood bridged over all of it, and they couldn't spawn anymore. So there's that. Have you ever been emotionally attached to a colony? Many times, especially when I named pawns after my... I had one time when I uh, when I was doing a solo run where I named everyone in my colony after my family members. It made it way tougher to deal with things going bad. <laughs> I mean, you can, but these people are from a specific colony that are, uh, we trade with, so we don't want to make them upset because we'll lose a trading partner. I mean, there's ways around that, but it's kind of a hassle. And we don't have drop pods yet, so we can't gift them stuff to fix our relationship at the moment. I mean, we could send caravans, but I don't want to do that. Uh, Red Pepper Phoenix, yes. That's right, don't mess with us. <laughs> so quickly filling in your role. Go ahead and go on that food bench. Is there a whole bird in here? Hey! Yeah, you let him out. Tell him he can be free. Tell him everything will be okay when he gets out of there. Oh, the lies that you tell. <laughs> yeah, go out, man. You can be free. No one's out there. <laughs> Is he going to get through the door? Oh, he's got the shotgun. He's like, help. Oh my gosh, the chain shotgun. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> so much happened so fast. He just went in there with all the soldiers waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all the characters we had for this run, we we didn't randomize at all. We just gave what the game we took what the game gave us. He fell down from a bruise. He got smacked and went, "Oh." Man, he's just scarfing that nutrient paste. 
Where's our prisoners like? I'm, I'm done eating. I don't want to eat ever again. I'm, I'm starving to death. I would rather starve to death than eat that nutrient paste on the floor right there. I don't want it. <laughs> Am I going to build the kill box? Uh, we got the first row done. I guess it would make sense to build more of it, but I try to focus on one large structure at a time, and right now that's getting the start of the bedrooms done and carpeting them, and their lab done. This should stop most threats. I could see the need to really expand on it some more. I guess we could get this first set of doors done. Wouldn't hurt anything to do it. So many things to do. Do, 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 do. This music's pretty good. Hey, what now? Now listen here. Listen here, you're a guest here. I don't want any trouble. And you're not even good at... Oh. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, he snapped. Put him in a daze. All right, that's enough. You're going to insult everybody. Oh, but then we have to fight three of them. Deal with it, guys. Deal with their anger. Let him insult the prisoner over and over again. Cursing at the prisoner that can't even get up. <laughs> he shut him up. He did it. Finally, somebody made it stop. What's he saying? So Orbs told the trainman that it was bad at planting, and then trainman proceeded to wallop Orbs. If we look at the prisoner, he <laughs> derided his fashion knowledge in the cell, disrespected his fashion knowledge, and then compared him to a crook. <laughs> Who else got insulted? My goodness. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there. Get me that boy. <laughs> Uh, we took him out because they kept getting messy. And uh, with all the blood everywhere, they're still being messy. So I guess we haven't totally, truly achieved our goals yet. Not a complete and total win. We'll just uh, let the game run for a bit. They'll sort themselves out.
Look at that. We even get the happy music now as the trader's coming. Everything is getting better. Everything is improving. Wait, the music thing's working? Well, then I will... Mute desktop. And then re-enable game audio. There we go. That works. Does that sound better, guys? Oh, you don't need to answer. I know it sounds better. <laughs> Make some tea for the colony here. Hey, wait. You can do that now. You can. That wasn't even in the change log. You can right click the notice up there to make them go away. What are you upset about? Insulted. It was your own dude that made fun of you. I don't. If you all snap, we're going to shoot you. You hear me, Trainman? You hear me, Petro? You better not start anything in my colony. Trainman, what did I just say? Trainman, what did Newber just say? What did we just say? <laughs> Trainman's gonna get shot now. <laughs> you can't run away from this chat, Trainman. Your your crimes still exist. Oh, we have an extra cowboy hat to sell. A couple of them, actually. Are we good now? Are we done? Trayman got shot. <laughs> Reapers over here. Guys, what happened? I heard gunshots. <laughs> Clean this mess up, dude. All right, let's make ourselves a queen sweeper because I'm losing it with how filthy this place is. Well, then, make a subcore. Weird art look right there. It's like a weird red square. That's new. There we go. Get that running for us real quick. They got into a fight over here, it seems. We got a quest available real quick, so we can... Let's see what's going on here. Oh, Glitter World. What do they want us to do? Oh, well, they want us to make a giant. I'm. We've been building stuff all the time. I'm not building you anything. We're making. A, I'm building a clean sweeper, so I can have floors in my beautiful base. We'll have beautiful base with floors. Then we have the electric smithy now, so we can go and make a... Uh... Oh, I guess we're not going to be able to do that, can we? Eh, we can do it. Make a couple helmets. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Clave, got some more colonists. I see that's good. Yeah, we got some more people here. And uh, we got... 
One, we got two colonists in training. <laughs> and we finished converting you. Oh, well, we're actually recruiting you. We got you at eight resistance. My goodness. Really making us work for it, huh? Got some uh, slate chunks laying around anywhere we can haul in. Building the whole base out of slate. Looks good to me. What is going on with this whole stockpile? Hmm. Sorry, I'm just quickly going through this real quick. I think that's everything. All right, that's that's fixed now. I don't want to fill the fridge up with junk. Can you make mechanoids and follow up question? Can you name the queen sweeper after me? Uh, we could make mechanoids later. So if you look at the research here and you go look at like this, the, oh, my bad. It's over here, standard mech tech. It'll give us access to making scythers and scorchers and pikemen. And then if we get the high mech tech, we'll be able to make uh, lancers and fabricators, which is a bot that makes stuff. Basically a crafting bot. And then with ultra mech tech, we'll be able to make like the bosses, like the centipedes, legionaries, and the really cool mech lord helmet, which is ridiculous. Gives you plus 12 bandwidth, which are less like 12 more militors. I will say the way you play is different from Adam versus everything, and you feel more, more like your regular playthroughs. <laughs> I, 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 I just play the game. <laughs> what are the small boy bots? Uh, basic machines, pretty much. Oh, I'm building a second recharger. I don't need that. Cancel. Save ourselves some time on that. And this has 1.8 days left. Hey, 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 hey. Petro? But you're my guest. We can only do this so many times before we kill the guests, all right? Jake, cut it out, Jake. Ah, ah! Punch Jake in the face. Do it. Do it, Templar. You got it. Fight, Templar. Fight. Yo, Templar. <laughs> How's the health on this one? Let him lay there for a bit. He can crawl himself back to bed. We're not saving him. You gotta stop believing people that say they're gonna set you free. It's not happening. We're not gonna set you free. You're not, it's not happening. You, 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 you are belong to us. The, uh, the electric smithy you can hear from anywhere on the game map. Meanwhile, me, beat down. <laughs> They're just having a line to beat up Jake. It really is. Everybody's going to take a turn whooping him. <laughs> he made himself back to bed. All right, good job. 
Good job, Jake. Crawled yourself back to bed. I think that's gonna be my new way of punishing pawns. If you screw up, you have to crawl yourself to safety. We're not helping you. That's pretty much what happened, Petro. Try it again. I'm, I'm sure it will go the same. <laughs> All right. I think things go good right now. The lifter has so much work to do. So much just crap laying around the map. Well, I do believe that we need a bit more leather at current time. Mm. Where are you at? Oh, you put on a hat. A tribesman has learned that orbs and several refugees are being hosted at Pleasure Pasture. She is enemies with orbs and wants to see her dead. She will send you the following reward if you kill all members of the First Coalition. 16 Luciferium and 1100 silver. Ooh. 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 Huh. All right. Time for a poll in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Should we destroy Petro and friends? I'll give it a moment. How long does the quest have? We have five days in game. Petro, why me? Why? Please, we can give you a good gift. What's your gift gonna be? What's your bargaining, Orps? What are you offering? What's your deal? This this pawn wants to light the world on fire, has no skills. Petro's about to lose his mind again, and he's a body modder. Can't be happy with anything. And then you have Trainman. Trainman's cathartic after losing it. Trainman's the only one worth keeping, with 14 crafting skill. <laughs> she just used some cool mechanics, very entertaining. Templar Knight, better yet, enslave them. <laughs> oh, that's three squats. I gotta do three squats real quick. You can all argue it amongst yourselves, chat. Decide the fates of these three wretched pawns. You just think having Luciferium in the base is a bad idea. <laughs> Psychoid brewing, preparing Psychoid leaves. We can do it now, finally. I'll give it one more minute. You guys gotta, gotta vote. There's 200 people in here. Cast your vote. <laughs> Head down to the live chat. Determine the fate of these poor people. You be Walter White. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but it does require us to destroy all of them. Let's 
so mistaken. Mark. Mark, what a horrible mistake, Mark. That didn't go well for you at all, Mark. Let him cook. Does this run have any mods? The votes have been casted. The votes have been casted. Oh, but you shall be sentenced to boil. To boil. <laughs> oh my god, good night, Fetcher. <laughs> Man, you guys are... are evil. <laughs> Destiny's got hypothermia again. box of the melting is being built. I know, we're preparing to boil people while we freeze to death. It makes no sense. It's not really improving either. We need a another one. Oh, raise the temperature in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. When will stream next time? Uh, very soon. Probably tomorrow. Your mood is just completely crap. I have a solution. If you can make it there. It just collapsed. Oh! Oh! It's too much! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone clean this place. It's awful. Oh, you know what? It's even better. Reaper, come get your bot. Oh, amazing. The queen sweeper's finally done. up out here we'll send you all in one at a time <laughs> you guys voted for this this is what you wanted
It's 140 degrees in there. It is so hot. It is so hot in there. They're finishing the cracks in the roof. <laughs> Orbot is being burned by the suspended air. Orbot's starting to cook. Burns. Yeah, it's bad. It is a very hot sauna. Getting the, the booby traps fixed outside. <laughs> In the arms of an angel. Well. Uh, it's going okay. Uh, welcome back to the video. Um, we just had... Uh, 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 we, we were doing stuff with the Steam Geyser. Yep. Um, nothing to see here. If you didn't want Petro and his gang dead, then you shouldn't let us vote. <laughs> There's Luciferium out there. Look at that. We can uh, take this apart now. Actually, you know what? No, we'll keep it. It could be useful in the future. Orders cancel. We'll just get rid of that. Yeah, so it's very toasty cooked pawns. He's gonna break the geo generator. Someone was executed, minus five mood. Uh, three people were, were executed. Now you cut that out. Go punch him in the face one time. He'll fall down if you hit him once. Thank you. There we go. And because we have a clean sweeper now, we can actually go to... Let's see here. Oh, we do have a lot of marble. Let's go with uh, marble tile for this main room here. That looks pretty good. I like the look of that. The game thought it fit well with my style of governing. <laughs> Some more rim crimes. More crimes against the rim. We're gonna give you a, a door over here so people can get around a bit easier. We don't have to worry about anyone freezing to death anymore, by the way. And we can also come over here and add make, uh, oh. We'll just do that forever, and then... Yeah, I'll do that forever, too. War criminal, Newbert. You're out, you're out now. Good night, room criminals. Sorry, orbs. I'm sorry, man. The, the group voted. is still out there waiting to be hauled. What's up, Mark? How's it going? What do you need? Do you feel better now, Mark? Is that taking the edge off for you? Does that help you? Yeah? Fixed all your problems? Oh, yeah. Baby gets his bottle. <laughs> All right. 
I don't, don't don't look over there. Don't look at that. Just look at all the stone floors we're building. That looks way better. And the fact that we're probably going to go ahead and make ourselves a Militor. Actually, no, we should probably just make an Agraham. And take people off of uh, farming. Sauna play gone wrong. <laughs> That's always brought out your shadow side. Well, I wanted an efficient way to, to kill them without getting any of our colonists harmed. And that was the absolute best way to do it. For the small price of what is essentially one steel block being mined, we could solve the whole problem. Look at that, it's almost done. It's actually almost done. A few more walls to finish here. No! It's okay, they'll have carpeted bedrooms soon. Reaper, are you in here? What carpet do you want your bedroom to have? Neo Warp, you too. You in here? Or, uh, Guadonia, you in here? Any of you that have a pawn currently? We're carpeting bedrooms. What do you want? Templar, you don't like it here. And you grab the auto shotgun. What a horrible thing. Goodness. Too much access to firearms around here. Neo Warp just carries on the bed. He's like, come on, man. You keep doing this. <laughs> you keep doing this. <laughs> I don't think this base is very advanced. And we really only have three colonists because the fourth colonist is downed all the time. The other two are slaves, so... And we are still actively trying to recruit the other two. You're at 4.9. And then you. What are you at? You're at... Have we converted you yet? Eh. Yeah, well. Use abilities to fix that later. How many mad alpacas? Only one wacky alpaca? We can deal with an individual wacky alpaca. That's manageable. Uh -oh. Come on, Mark. Punch the alpaca, Mark. Problem handled. Is anyone bleeding? Reaper is bleeding. Your index finger is gone. Completely chomped by the creature. Wrap it. <laughs> He has now lost some of his moving forever. That's great. Permanent loss of manipulation is always great. 42% manipulation for Reaper is just total crap. We could give you robot limbs soon. Arco limbs. Oh, I wonder if it just cooks. No, it doesn't cook. Thought we could get like I don't know, steam meat from the geyser. <laughs> so we want the agra hand and we want a constructoid. So let's go make a, another subcore real quick. Hey man, I got rimmeled a few days ago and played for about 34 or 5 hours and really enjoy it. So I bought the three DLCs and I don't know what the heck is happening. Sounds like a 
excuse me, typical RimWorld experience. Feel free to join our Discord if you want people to answer your questions. Everybody's super duper nice in there and they'll help you along your way. Or you can watch the videos, but you know, I'd, I'd rather recommend you to people that are gonna help you real quick before we send you off to the videos because the videos are really just gonna give you a lot of extra details on top of what people are gonna tell you. In the next raid, get some new hands for him. <laughs> Oh no, a smoke leaf binge for Mark. I honestly, that's like the least bad of them all. You go ahead, bud. <laughs> Where's our wealth at, by the way? Oh, it's getting close. We got a lot of wealth here. Let's go back over this way and let's see plate armor you know what oh yeah we'll plate armor will get a lot faster than we're gonna get flak vests out here so Newbert's Discord is my second family. I give up my wife for new. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we are a pretty good family on the Discord. It's a good place. Ooh. Oh, there's that chunk here. I can't believe I never moved that. Let me... Let me... Oh, I never made a place for slag chunks. I guess it's there to trip on. We're not going in there often. I don't care. Dude, I love this song so much. This song is called Sold On You, just so you know. It's by Oxjack. We've been running a lot of Oxjack songs here for the stream. You get them licensed through Epidemic Sound. Oh, you can just hit the letter T for a room BD. So it's point one here. It's negative one here. Boo doo doo. Man, it's all really coming together pretty well. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Alrighty. So relaxing. So chill. We're vibing. It can for real be peaceful sometimes. I agree. I think I'm going to have to cut down all these streams to make a video later. It's been pretty entertaining. <laughs> How far are we in right now? We haven't even, we're in the end of the first year. Can't prisoners use doors during breakouts? Like, they can if someone tells them they're free. Which is a problem on its own. That's where you'd have turrets and stuff. Honestly, you're gonna end up playing prison architect in RimWorld. That, that's really what's gonna happen unique methods of containment, especially if you have biotech and you get the really tanky pawns or ones that spit fire or explode. You get some really crazy pawns that are basically biological weapons that you're trying to contain. Or even, even more so later on if you uh, capture a vampire and you want to convert it, that's a tough one to keep locked up.
Grabbed your snack? Good. Newbert, to be honest, do you know if there's a gag mod where it prevents a pawn from spitting fire? <laughs> no, I don't, but you can use the electric shock collars from the shock collars mod, simple slave collars, and just electrocute the crap out of them until they're down when they decide to misbehave. I'm probably going to require that. I'm probably going to live with that mod enabled when Anomaly comes out because I just can't see any way that. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overestimating how tough the DLC will be, but I'm assuming we're going to have a lot of uh, meat bag usage. And meat bags better behave. Do to do. The beer brewing's done. We just finished the psychoid brewing. That's done. Which means... I believe so. Yeah, machining, yeah. How many can you handle? A few more? Alright, so what do we got in here? We're doing an agar hand. So then we'll do one constructoid over here. Yeah, get that done. Do do do. Get some more steel dug up. Eh, this is closer over here. Well, really, honestly, the same distance, pretty much. Not much difference. Hey, Niebuhr, have you ever thought about weaponizing the autobong? A bazillion times. In fact, we're going to have a, a whole lot of experiments when the anomaly comes out. I think we'll have the, the creatures locked up in the room with an auto bong that keeps their movability down if it will work at all. I don't know if drugs will affect them, but, you know. I, the other thing is uh, I, I like enabling child raiders, and then I put an auto bong in the, in the middle of the, my, excuse me, the kill box. And then their small bodies can't handle the chemicals in the air, and they usually collapse. We mentally ill room world player. <laughs> well, and then when they collapse, we can capture them. And if they're young enough, we can convert them quickly and then raise them to know our ways. It's better than having your own pawn carry to term. You can just have children delivered to you. And then if... And then because their parents aren't in your colony, uh, you don't have to worry about people losing their minds when pawns in your colony die because none of them are awaited. All kinds of benefits. To stealing other people's children in RimWorld. <laughs> oh man. Alright. What is that, Thumbro? Is it worth it to learn RimWorld from zero to play it again? Forgot everything about it. I think it is. I think RimWorld's a really good game, dude. I think it's, if you have the energy, I think it's worth taking the time to put it in. Putting in the time to really have it be fun again. go it's okay Nuber. it's my first run i cannibalized my two other pawns because they had bad stats <laughs> i wonder if we're all on a watch list for playing rebel i doubt it do i play vanilla dude we're playing vanilla right now there ain't no mods enabled this is 1.5 this is the unstable branch I wonder 
if giving you a new lung would help you at all. Because breathing affects things. I wish they had info tabs here that you could use. Billy the robot. Yo, love your channel. I just want one thing for a video, like something like a Yayo's animation or something like that. <laughs> I appreciate the donation a lot. Uh, Yayo's animation, I think it's broken at the moment because Rimmel got a new animation framework. And with that, mods like that need to be redone because with the new animation framework, it's multi-threaded. Let me do my 10 squats. One. Three times speed. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, righty. How much is a new DLC? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to buy seven copies of it, so hopefully it's not too much. Days? Go juice addiction withdraw. Oh man, he's almost done with it. It takes so long for these pawns to get over their problems. I am almost certain by the end of the month, many vanilla expanded mods will just be patched. Uh, oh no. Billy, no. Billy, why? Oh no, Billy. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> Make me do so many reps. All right, let the chaos unfold. All right, deep squats. One, two, three. I'll zoom out so you can see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Billy, do squats with me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jesus. Take, take it a moment. Man, I'm so out of shape. 16, 17. Dude, we are gonna have pre-stream pre stretches during the 10 minute bit. 18, 19, 20, oh gosh. 21, 22, 20, oh, 24. 25, halfway, oh man, fat and out of breath. I've lost 35 pounds or something like that since November. I was 256 at my highest weight and I'm in the two teens now. So I've lost like 40 pounds. I'm on my way to 190, so. 26, 20, no! Oh, oh gosh. Thank you for the donation. You're gonna make me do way too many squats. You guys make me do a hundred reps. <laughs> 27, 20, the game's stuck on three times speed. 28, 29, okay. 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, I'm so scared, 35, please no bad events, 35, 36, 37, 38, that's true, that does help pay for the DLC, thanks Billy, I appreciate it, 39, 40, 41, oh my gosh, my legs are on fire, I didn't know it could hurt this bad this fast. It didn't even hurt this bad when we did 300 reps that one time. It was 370 reps, something like that, okay. 41, 42, 43. Chair, you're in the way, come on. 44, 45, 
46. Oh, 47. 48. 49. 50. 51. 52. 53. 54. 55. 56. 57. 58. 59. 60. 61. So we just recruited someone? That's super cool. Where was that? I was 60. 61. 62. 63. I think it was the hard prisoner, the guy that's really good at Mayway. 61. 62. I'm losing count. 63. 64. 65. 66. 67. Oh, 68. My feet hurt. 69. 70. 71. 72. 73. 74. 75. 76. 77. Oh. Oh. Doing a hundred squats. Seventy two. Seventy three. Seventy four. Seventy five. Seventy six. Seventy seven. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh. I don't want to do any more. Seventy. 79, 80, oh, it just burns so bad. It's like pain, oh, 81. Did that pause the game? I'm not allowed to pause. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 86. This closed my eyes. 87. 88. 89. It's just pain, newbie. 90. Oh, 10 more. Take a moment. I'm breathe for a moment. 10 more. Oh, man. 91. 92. 93. 94. 95, oh, my feet. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, oh, 100. Oh, gosh, chair, come to me. Come to me, chair. Oh, oh. Let me drink some water. I kept losing count. <sighs> You're letting me be done? <laughs> well, I appreciate you letting me be done. <laughs> I need a little bit to recover, then I can do some more. Is that what we do if I had a pool in my house? I'd have to go do laps. All right, game pause. How's everybody doing right now? Okay. Genetic chemical dependency is getting better. It's minus 14 instead of minus 20. His rival trainman is dead. <laughs> okay, go juice dependency. Wounds are healing over here. We got a lot of serious pain. Nobody likes the barracks, but we're building nice rooms. Chemical starvation. Everybody's just having issues with the, the need for things, chemicals. It's a colony of recovering addicts. Billy should be a pawn. Who is the new guy that we just got? Yeah, this can be Billy. 
There you go, Billy. You are one of us now. You art us now. Now I just realized a ginormous mistake of mine. Fire could have spread all throughout the base. This needs to be stone floor. What do we got a lot of? Granite? It's gonna take forever, but okay. There we go. Oh man, check my bad verge. Billy do anything but res that dude who asked the whole time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> if his body is still around and we get a mech serum, there's a possibility. Uh, Petro, it's hard to resurrect a skeleton. I am sorry. Your bones. I guess that means you're boned. <laughs> I'm making such dumb joke. I don't know why. <laughs> oh man. Bones are people. <laughs> Bone lives matter. Fair enough. Only with that attitude? Well, you tell me. How do I turn bones into a person? All this cotton will get harvested and then we'll have carpet. And Bill, where's the plate armor at? No one has level seven crafting. Now you listen here, you. Who's the best crafter we got? It's you, that's all you do now. You go craft. You have a joke there, but it isn't family friendly. All right, I'm gonna set the game to one time speed. I really have to pee. <laughs> it's been sitting here for hours. I feel so much better. I was holding that for so long. I had a buddy that had a lav mic that he wore, and me and him used to be recording together, and he'd just go into the bathroom with the mic on. Lordy, welcome to Loyal Noob. No, wait, I have to do more squats. <laughs> It's okay. I appreciate I appreciate donations a lot. It costs like 200 bucks to make a guide usually. So, oh man, let's take a break for a moment. Yeah, I really do appreciate donations, so I don't have to pay for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay.
I'm getting tired of sitting around. Are these guys nice? What do they buy? You guys, you guys like money? I like money. Here is the most mentally capable pawn that we have. Neo Warp is probably the best person to send on an expedition. Making bank this stream. <laughs> We're making something. <laughs> Alright, what can we send off to sell here? I really want to keep the Luciferium because you just never know at what point in your run it is time for the Super Soldier. And then getting Luciferium is just a pain in the butt because you're settling like 50 colonies to, you know, just a whole bunch of colonies. Oh, that's what's going on while we have hats all the time because we have until X, not make X. I oh, will fix that later. Send it with 197 silver. When I worked on the phones as a customer service rep, I always hated the people who'd call when using the bathroom. No one wants to hear you peeing and taking a dump while talking about your problem. <laughs> yeah, but see, I'm not complaining though, you know? I'm just doing my biz, having a casual conversation. <laughs> Welcome back, Fry. Welcome back. Golden cube, indeed. Some steel mining. Are we friends with these people? Do we know? Are we sure? <laughs> I think we're going to move Jake to a different room and we're going to set this room for colonists. Jake, we're putting you in the room where you get stabbed by stuff. First, we'll convert you, though. Be one of us. Now you come this way. No, I'm not making a grand construction. Oh, what is a grand construction? You give me a cataphract? What do you want me to do? He'll give me a cataphract helmet? Or Robbie? Who's Robbie? Robbie just looks like the guy they don't want around. But cataphract helmet. Okay. And a tornado generator. You guys have a deal. <laughs> We're missing components. Oh, I need to be careful. We haven't unlocked fabrication yet. We gotta haul our butts on the fabrication. How long did they wait to get you? Maybe a few minutes they can't hold anymore? <laughs> Man, the bedrooms are going really good and stuff like that too. We're doing really good. Done hiding in your room, Billy. 
Destiny has never been very good at anything, it seems. I don't even know what to do with Destiny anymore. It's almost gone. <laughs> oh crap you know what guys i have some projects that have files ready for me so i have to edit now uh consider joining the discord if you're not consider uh going to the patreon i don't know why i'm getting confused our patreon's a buck a month you can get all our videos early ad free and for you guys, our channel members, I'm adding new emotes to the member role tonight. We got all the art for them, so you guys will have a bunch of new emotes. And I think that's everything, yeah. I, that's that's the showing. Uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out today. This is wild. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll be finishing up these walls tomorrow. And let's see what else we'll be doing. We'll be uh, getting this kill box wrapped up. We're actually going to probably go on a few raids tomorrow, too, because we're getting to that point. We're going to get the plate armor made, so yeah, we'll be able to take some rounds on our dudes. I think, indeed, tomorrow stuff will be happening in this colony. Oh, yeah, and everybody's going to have their own bedrooms, and we'll put someone on art. So we got a lot of people here now. And then we have one more dude in cryo down here that we are going to convert over. So we'll have one more pawn to snag still from the mix. Also, we have Jake to finish converting, who I believe is... Yeah, yeah, almost are. Almost ready to join us. We'll just go and use convert on him real quick. Hey, you. And then if we can find one, I would like to get a bionic lung for Destiny, because, man, that 50% breathing is just crap. It's useless pawn that we have to tend to all the time we're basically running a care house here but yeah that's all that i've got planned i hope you guys enjoyed the stream definitely join the discord consider the patreon if you get a whole year it's 11 dollars and get a lot of stuff from that but anyways see you guys around i really appreciate it let me switch us over to the the, the